just left Riyadh this morning, transiting through Dubai and heading to Baghdad from my, uh, Iraq for my second visit. This one is going to be Baghdad. We'll go for a quick flight. All good, all easy. Just got off the plane and on the gangplank into Baghdad. <laughs> it's official, got my visa. I am at the airport and we are about to head to the hotel and then hopefully get some dinner. So far, such a smooth process, awesome. Uh, early look at Baghdad, a lot of traffic in the evening. Right, we lit, people walking around. Shakumako. 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 Okay, this is pretty cool. The owner of the birds is eating the birds some um, hot chai. Well, this bird doesn't like it for some reason, but we'll see. A little sip. If you like hustle, you like bustle. This is your city. Baghdad is alive. It's chaotic. Things are going on 24-7. Um, in Baghdad, in Tahir Square, Liberation Square, a little surreal, especially with the I Heart Tahir uh, selfie place. So check this out. Never thought I'd really be here walking around. So here in Baghdad, in Tahir Square, Liberation Square. And this is liberation from Ottoman Empire. And British. And whoever else. And if you need to stock up on your military goods, everything is in here. Just in case, if you're in the mood. Bias, bias. Wait. And here we are, Abbasi Palace, approximately 14th, 15th century. It's beautiful design architecture, but you can see they're doing some renovation. So, of course, I'm going to have to come back to see this. And here in front of me in Baghdad, we have a Catholic church right next to the mosque. Shizmak. Shizmak. Huh? Ja. Ja. Kifalik? Carrot. Shukran Habibi. Shukran. It became kind of an inside joke, but every time I see a mannequin, I'm taking a photo or a video in this case. We'll see how many I can find in Baghdad. These 
might be the longest, tallest formas I've ever seen here. I don't know if they're about five feet tall. Pretty amazing, looking pretty tasty. Okay, I just had one of these uh, chicken farmers behind me. It is only 1,000 dinar, which is like 66 cents. Uh, incredibly tasty and fresh. Uh, a good buy, wish we have that back home. Be a great way to save money. And uh, the market outside of Al Qaidima Mosque is pretty lively with a lot of stuff going on. I mean, this is obviously extremely religious and uh, spiritual, but also there's a lot of uh, commerce, eating, socializing going on as well. So one of my favorite treats is some tasty pistachios. I'm getting a half kilo for about 7,500 dinar, which is uh, oh, it's like five bucks. So it's a pretty awesome price. So my good man. First steps of the Samara minaret, 52 meters, probably like 160 feet or so. Beautiful day, sunny, and we'll see how it goes and who I'll meet on the way up. So, working my way up the minaret, a little wind, you can hear, you no know, railing, so careful. Well, one on this side. Here comes my first people. Assalamu alaikum. Kifalik. That didn't go well. So hopefully no one will push me off. Already kind of a deep fall. People seem to be a little scared on the way down, grasping the uh, railing. hard to see probably with the sun but this is the old mosque back from the ninth century assalamu alaikum so you can see the walls remain everything destroyed except for the bases of the former columns today's friday their weekend so a lot of people here, festive, a lot of kids, people having fun. It really is kind of a bit of a drop. Here we have Spider-Man, some kids are face painting. And up top at the Smar Minaret, it's a social scene for male tweens and teenagers hanging out, making noise, taking photos. 
سلام كيف حالك؟ الحمد لله شو اسمك؟ عبد الله عبد الله؟ ها؟ علاوي ها؟ عادي هادي؟ My name is Ali Ali, nice to meet you And this is actually our uh, limo in Baghdad So we look kind of like special forces Hey, salam Salam So this is how we roll in Baghdad So if we have to drive through any roadblocks, we should be all set And now we are saying goodbye to the Samara Minaret Been a great day, but time to move on, hopefully eat some lunch Here I am in Samar. This is one of the holiest mosques. And uh, especially to the Shiites, it said that the hidden Amman, uh, who's very important in the Shiite religion, he is buried here. So we were at the Armenian church here and we're about to be treated by a song. That's it? That's it. This is the bones of the martyrs who died in their zone between 1950 to 1916. Checking in from Baghdad. This is the Martyrs Memorial from 1983. This is in honor of those soldiers who perished during the war with Iran, as well as the many others that have fallen in the recent years as well. So uh, interesting, I, I think kind of a unique design, pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Mabrok, Mabrok. Okay, who's Mak? Thanks, man. Who's Mak? Abbas Ala. Hala? Abbas Ala. Abbas? Ahmed Mahmoud. Ahmed Mahmoud. Abbas Ahmed Ala. Mahmoud. Okay. Congratulations, Mabrok. You just graduated from university. Yeah, yeah. Excellent, Mabrok. And what did you study? Biology. Biology. Bi okay. Biology. I think you guys are very smart. Yeah. Going to get very big job yeah. and be famous wish, and make we, a lot of money. We wish, we wish that. And I want to very big congratulations, my Brooke, on your hair. Thanks. Thanks. The Thanks, best man. hair I've Thanks, seen man. in Iraq. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best hair in Iraq. You wish. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We wish you all night. I love you. I love you too. Congratulations. <laughs> So there's a lot of names here. I'm in the museum at the Martyrs Monument. And no matter what side you're on, it's, it's kind of sobering to see this many names. And what took place during the Iran-Iraq War, a lot of allies of Iraq, Jordanians, Syrians, Sudanese, they came to help the Iraq. And these are the martyrs of their allies, of their brother nations that came supported Iraq during that time and fell in battle. And more tragic loss for the people of Iraq 
These photos here in the forefront are victims, uh, Yazidi people, uh, religious minority in Iraq who were killed by Daesh or ISIS. In the background, other martyrs. There's a lot of interesting things about Iraq and Baghdad, but probably most fascinating are their excellent mannequins. The country might be the cradle of civilization, but I think it should be best known for the ubiquitousness of the amazing mannequins throughout the country. Come check it out.